Gunna has been caught in one of the biggest controversies in the entire rap world. This is how rappers reacted to Gunna. With Gunna being involved in the massive YSL Rico case and now facing several years inside a federal prison, Gunna cut a deal with the feds and he snitched on the YSL kingpin Young Thug. Throwing him under the bus for multiple charges, Young Thug was the one person in Gunna's life that helped him out the most, especially with his music career. Gunna's officially been released from jail. Rappers reacted to the situation in the same way everyone did to Takashi. She six nine. Here's Gunna snitching in the courtroom. YSL is a music label, and, and you have personal knowledge that members or associates of YSL have committed crimes in front of. Yes, ma'am. You were present when law enforcement officers stopped a vehicle in which you were present along with Jeffrey Williams, where in hydro and a firearm were recovered. These items did not belong to you. Yes, ma'am. Despite the video proof of Gunna snitching, he decided to try and fool everyone by releasing this message. While I've agreed to always be truthful, I want to make it perfectly clear that I have not made any statements, have not interviewed, have not cooperated, and have not agreed to testify or be a witness for or against any party in the case. Rappers were not buying it though, as we saw Takashi69 speak up his mind on this situation in an Instagram post, which reads, Just listen, I know y'all don't want to accept that he snitched, but the judge said, You are aware YSL is a street team, correct? Where Gunna responds, Yes, ma'am. The judge says, Only you and Jeffrey are in the car, and police found illegal items. These did not belong to you, correct? Gunna responds, Yes, ma'am. Go ahead and make your excuses. I stand on whatever I do or did. That's why I'm still walking on this earth and nothing has ever happened to me. I am him. Although Takashi 69 was not done here, as he hopped on Clubhouse with WAC 100 to explain that Young Thug is now in a very terrible situation because of Gunna's plea deal. So me pleading guilty is only making it worse for my men. It's, I'm saying I was there. Yes, I did it. I plead guilty. I am guilty. I am guilty. Anything you said in that courtroom is going to be used against your man, my man. That shit is over. Then, just a week after the call, he then met up with DJ Academics to share more thoughts on Gunna snitching. He just incriminated, implicated YSL being so now he's home, right? All the people who's locked up, like Jeffrey, like Young Thug, now he, he can't go with that defense. He can't go with the defense of saying, I'm a record label. Millions of people have not been fans of Takashi ever since he snitched, but that man has a point. Moving on to Freddie Gibbs, he's never been a fan of Gunna. Ever since a video was released years and years ago of Gunna on Crime Stoppers, detailing a local crime that went down to reporters, Freddie found the video and took it to Twitter stating, if you were on Crime Stopper TV, you a snitch. Ain't no way around it. Initially, Gunna was quiet in response to Freddie, but he went in and went to drop his DS Forever album in 2022, where Gunna went back after Freddie, which states, when my album drops, Freddie Gibbs will have his biggest moment of his career, as Gunna was seen dissing Freddie on his new album, in his song titled Poochie Gown, by rapping, I can't rock with Freddie Gibbs, that boy telling fibs. With Gunna now officially being labeled as a snitch, Freddie Gibbs would go off on Gunna in a string of tweets saying, telling fibs, he continued, I hate to say I told you so, knowing full well that Freddie thought thought Gunna would be a snitch all the way back in 2020, when art imitates reality, showing this parody clip of Gunna snitching. Look, give me some McDonald's. When you come back, I might remember something. Can you do that? Oh yeah, Big Mac, fries, Coke? Yeah. Done. Now, Freddie kept on going on Twitter as he followed up stating, I prayed for this day, rap full of snitches. So y'all gonna welcome this man home with open arms. And if you thought Freddie Gibbs went off on Gunna, you need to hear what rap OG Boosie had to say. Considering he comes from the old school streets where you would always do your time and never snitch, Boosie would go on Twitter stating, rat, this would have put a tears down my eyes. My brother, my artist, like what am I defending my life for that I'm not in a street team and you do this to your big dog? You knew it was a street team, saying the items in the car weren't yours? Well, who else was in the car that they could be 
before. He spoke more, stating, he had one charge. He wasn't going to get no hard time. These lawyers don't care about your legacy. They know what they're doing to your name. They're getting you out of jail so their name blows up and you gotta pay them even more once you're free. And they made you cooperate. It's a cold game. Now the tweets weren't all that Boosie had to share, as he followed it up with this on Instagram Live. Yeah, they bring your reputation to the ground, but the lawyer reputation all the way to the sky. And he knew what he was doing the whole time. This is when we saw NBA Youngboy jump on his podcast, where thousands of fans were listening to his opinion on the YSL case and gunna snitching, where he had this to say. Don't call me asking me about what I think about the situation or what or do I think need to. I honestly don't give not one. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Now, surprisingly, not everyone is hating on Gunna right now. As Lil Duval spoke out stating, nobody should pin snitch on Gunna unless Young Thug says it. And with Young Thug currently sitting in jail, dealing with the entire Rico case by himself, he hasn't been able to let his thoughts out on Gunna's plea deal. However, one of Gunna's and Young Thug's closest friends in the game, Lil Baby, spoke his mind on how he feels with them in lockup. As Lil Baby said, he is like one of my personal friends. So we talk on the phone you feel me me and gunna were like neighbors know what i'm saying so for them to be in that situation i don't really like to talk to them i kind of miss them a bit for sure though with little baby unfollowing gunna after news dropped with academics tweeting the streets are saying little baby unfollowed gunna y'all think the industry giving gunna too much of a hard time for being a truth teller or not nah. as with little baby now reacting to gunna we obviously then saw their best friend little dirk share his thoughts as little dirk also then reacted to the case. He referenced Gunna in one of his latest snippets by rapping, what happened to Virgil, he's probably gonna tell. As this is a reference to the title of Lil Durk and Gunna's collab song titled What Happened to Virgil, showing that Lil Durk is not a fan of Gunna snitching in court. But this then led into Charleston White. He had tons of share on the YSL Rico case as well as Gunna snitching. As he predicted all along, the prosecutors were gonna try to turn everyone against Young Thug seen as though he's the main target as well as the kingpin of YSL saying this in an interview. I'm always willing to bet with any rapper if they keep Young Thug locked up six more months in the conditions he in, he'll tell to get out of jail too. They keep him six more months, he'll tell to get out of jail too. But what's surprising is that he admires Gunna for snitching to get out of the case. Gunna is out of prison. I never thought I would be happy to say, say y'all, Gunna is out of prison. Now, I'm glad he got out by telling. I think that was smart, Gunna. I'm a Gunna fan now. I'm gonna tell. However, Charleston then gave his serious thoughts on the situation during a Say Cheese TV interview. I wouldn't say what Gunna did was a snitch, because Gunna's not a he made a confession. And with Charleston White giving attention to the situation, we would then see rapper Sauce Walker spoke on the situation, saying he would never do such a thing as to what Gunna did to Young Thug. As Gunna received so much help from Young Thug during his come up, and for him to betray Young Thug like this is just plain wrong. As Sauce Walker spoke this on IG Live. I've been through multiple situations, and, and, and it's always going on. It never stops. We always going through something, and I will never tell or fold or my brother in no way, shape, or form. Don't give me my 30 year. Give me my 25. Just like everyone did to Takashi 6 9 when he snitched, he said everybody should keep that same energy towards Gunna. He doesn't want everyone switching up how they feel about a rapper snitching just because it's an artist that they like more. As he said this. All of y'all, the man is 6 9 all you that said all this about 6 9 all them other that told, y'all better do the same thing. This would then lead into Tech. He was never much of a fan of Gunna either, as he hopped on an interview to poke fun of Gunna for being a snitch. But it's like you got caught with some that wasn't my to, I don't know who it was. How you don't know? If both of y'all in the car. It's just <laughs> y'all two in the car. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who it is. That's, 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 that's like... You ain't pointing a finger, you pointing elbows. 
And you like, man, so look. Now his reaction would be similar to Boston Richie's reaction, who didn't approve of Gunna switching sides on Young Thug, saying, shaking my head. The streets ain't for everybody, for Young Thug. Now, I promise you all right now, you're gonna wanna watch rappers react to NBA Youngboy next. Click the screen and I'll see you there.